right guys welcome back to rolling with t-bone as we are standing in the middle of the shop we are in blairsville georgia at patriot cycles and power sports uh kind of give you guys just a quick tour first off i want to say i'm t-bone if you're new here welcome in we make motorcycle content really any kind of content if you're old here, welcome back. You know what's going on. Uh, guys, we have found a shop here that's just now getting its footing in its new location. If you guys are from Union County, you know Patriot Cycle. I'm told that they're just, uh, oh, the way the crow flies, they're not too far away from their old location. They just moved into a bigger shop. Uh, taking customers right now they were going to try to get in and get opened up but they're already taking customers uh we have got here catfish you guys don't mind being on camera right catfish teapot and rooster the motor man the boat man the boat man boat man guys they're working on just a little bit of everything here they've got cars now what i understood talking to rooster a minute ago they're going to do cars, work on hot rods, stuff like that, oil changes. I think they're going to try to stay more toward the power sport side, working on motorcycles, four-wheelers. As you can see, they've got just a little bit of everything in here. Four-wheelers, they'll work on your side-by-sides, jet skis, boats. Because they're real close to Notley up here, so. Right now, they are just covered up in customer bikes. And their bikes... I'm not even sure. Have y'all actually had your grand opening yet, Rusty? No, sir. Hadn't had your grand opening. Still trying to set a date for that. Still trying to set a date. I know he was talking about doing a little work on their building here, trying to get everything squared away where it where it's going to be. Uh, but I'll tell you what, guys, this is cool right here because we were talking about this just a minute ago. You don't find a lot of places anymore where they like to work on old motorcycles. Everybody now, if it ain't new and they can't hook it to a computer, they don't want to fool with it. And there's very few shops like Appalachian Mountain Rides, uh, Patriot Cycles, that want to bring the old motorcycles back to life. And we're getting away from that. And you guys who have been following me on my channel for a while, you know I'll ride anything with two wheels. BSA, Triumph, Harley, Honda, Yamaha, it don't matter to me. If it's got two wheels and I can have fun on it, I'll ride it. Regardless of what anybody else thinks. I mean, come on, I ride a V-Rod. <laughs> but let's uh let's take a real just a quick look around here they don't have a whole lot going on now uh rooster was telling me they do have a honda that's going to come up for sale they're waiting on a starter for it to come in right now that's all they've got to, for sale but i'm just going to show off a couple of the bikes that they own hammer just left out give hammer a shout out on here say brother sorry i just i wasn't recording before you left but what we got right here is a 2005 Dyna Lowrider. This is Hammer's personal bike. And he telling me he loves this one. He's got a 2020 Street Glide, I believe he said. And he actually likes this one better. Of course, it's comfortable. Bars, these, his bar setup's about like the one I've got on my fat boy, just to be honest with you. Uh, of course, if Scotty if Scotty Keaton's watching this, brother, I just got the story as to why this bike is no longer yours. Uh, this, of course, uh, the Patriot Riders, brother Scotty Keaton and Misty, Scott and Misty, I rode with them. I think they've been in a video before. Uh, Scotty no longer owns this motorcycle, which kind of blows my mind. Because he put a lot of time into that bike to make it his. What were you thinking? Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, come on now. Uh, that's bucks. But let's talk just a minute, guys. Now, how long, how long were you guys in business over at your other one? About three years. About three years. So y'all was pretty well much exposed. Pretty good business there. Yep. Had to move into a bigger place. Yes, yep. sir. Is there anything you won't work on? Now, I know some pla some places have their limits. You know, I, I know people who can't work on hanging heads, can't work on knuckle heads, really don't want to mess with them. Work on anything. anything. Work on anything. There it is. We especially love the old bikes. Yeah. Old motorcycles all the way. I don't have to hook a computer to it. Thank God. All right. <laughs> right. Exactly. 
Uh, but we do, we do have that capability as well. Oh yeah, we yeah. He was telling me they can read uh, if you've got EFI, if you've got electronic hookup. They can. They've got a reader that they can read your system with. Yeah. Which is cool. I mean, in today's world, you got to have that. Yeah. So. You know, anything past 2,000, you've got to be able to be able to hook a reader up to it. Yeah, yeah there's not much we want to take on and, and try to work on. If we don't know, we can find somebody that knows, or or we do all the research and studying ourselves to be able to do what it, what needs to be done. Absolutely. There's and a lot of knowledge already that we have and we we have have gained. But like I said, we'll work on anything. If it's something new that we haven't seen, we'll figure it out. Right. Absolutely. And Teapot is the boat man. He works on boats. No, catfish. Catfish, catfish, catfish works on boat now. I thought you said you worked on boats too. No, he's, no. The, he's the apprentice. He's, he's still learning. Oh, he's still learning. Yeah. Okay, so he's the one that you give a hard time to. That's yeah. it. Teapot. Yeah. As soon as you walk through the door, he's the man. Yeah, yeah that's, that's me. It. He's the one you go to. Yeah, he's right. the parts guy. Parts guy. Laser engraving guy. guy. We do laser engraving, color okay. coding. Yeah. Now, powder coating, is that something y'all can get into painting, powder coating, doing all the. Yep. We basically are, a one-stop shop yes other than machining we yeah. currently have i currently have a paint okay can, yeah. can do for all right so custom paint jobs if you've got an old bike sitting in the garage that you've been wanting to do some work to customize get it maybe you just want to get it back up and running again the guys right here if you're in this area these guys right here are not too far away from you actually tap is tell people how to get here if they're coming from Blue Ridge, Murphy, or Rabin County? Um, the easiest way for me to tell you is just to look up the gauntlet. Look or up right the gauntlet. right on the gauntlet. Yep. Right on the gauntlet, uh, Gumlaw Grove. If you're coming from Blairsville, you're going to take 129 north towards Murphy, North Carolina. Yep. Uh, we're about four miles out of town on Gumlaw Grove. Absolutely. Uh, if, if you guys remember, if you ride this area or have ever ridden this way, if you remember where the old biker barn is, if you're coming from the Blairsville side where the biker barn was there, back this side, Gumlaw Grove, there's a Chevron on the corner, a place where there doesn't look like there needs to be a gas station, it's right there. Take a right, and they're right out here on the right, or maybe three quarters of a mile, a mile, so yeah. not far off. But. Uh, and we're going to try and start after our grand opening, try and start having some monthly events, get togethers, hang out. You know, Absolutely. Throw cornhole, horseshoes. Yeah. There you eat go. some food, drink some beer, some soda, water, whatever, whatever you choose. There you go. Stop in and see us. Get a free cold drink on the house. Absolutely. Uh, tell you what, guys. Uh, I, I can't say it enough how great it is just to have shops that are popping up that are willing to work on everything because you get you get to the situation where you own a motorcycle and if it's an 80s model or a 70s model you say man i love it but it's hard to find parts for it's hard to find people to work on it we need these kind of shops right here we need these places that are there they're going to be readily available they have the knowledge to work on it and if they don't know what they're doing they'll hit a book jump online i promise you somebody has done that work if you don't know how how to do it i mean it's easy to learn how to do something me i'm not mechanically inclined i am but i don't like i'm lazy uh, i'll just be honest with you i'm lazy <laughs> I, I ride them everybody else works on them. built man of course down in appalachian mountain rides he's my mechanic uh and it's the extra stuff when you get a shop like this and it's in your hometown or even if you're out of town and you come in and you need something you tear up over there on the four lane and you find out you're in Byersville, Georgia, you got a shop here, and I'm sure these guys, if you say, hey, I'm broke down over here on 515, I'm from Florida, and I'm trying to get up north, hey, I have no doubt that they'd jump in a truck, come check you out on the side of the road, find out what's wrong, if they can fix it, bring you back here to your shop, and get it fixed, tire, if I goes out, or if you're on a Harley Davidson, any of the above from front to back, uh, regulator, stator, starter. Yeah, we actually try and cover about a hundred mile radius as far as picking folks up if they have an issue. There you go, hundred mile radius. Back here, try and get you fixed up and back out the door. And in the motorcycle world, guys, that right there is one of the most important things is to go from place to place, knowing that you have somebody in each place who can do something for you, who can help you. And shade tree surgeon. I don't know if you guys are 
subscribe to his channel over on YouTube. He just rode a 79 shovel head from Phoenix, Arizona, all the way to Florida, oh, Tampa, yeah. Florida, 4,000 miles. Dude, that thing was falling apart by the time he got back to Florida. He, he brought it in on a wing and a prayer, but he was broke down out in BFE, out in Oklahoma somewhere, and he found a shop just like yours, and the guy hooked him up and fixed his bike, gave him a place to lay his head down. That's what we need, because there's still people who are interested in jumping on their motorcycle and riding from coast to coast. Yeah, if, you, if you need, you have a motorcycle you want service and stuff done and you don't have a trailer we'll come pick it up we'll and deliver it, it back yeah. to you there you go you yeah. can't get no better than that right there and that's something that the motorcycle world offers that not a lot of other places offer <laughs> all right so we were just in the shop talking now gene smith you guys know gene gene's been a long time supporter of my page and my channel me and Gene's been riding together here lately and getting to know each other. And he just thought he'd come out here and prop up on his bike and get all the way out. <laughs> no, that ain't happening. Uh, so Gene is now making his official debut on Rolling with T-Bone. <laughs> now, you think I ride blinged out bikes. Somebody said one time that my fat boy was blinged out. Look at this. What that big horse leg of yours? Don't look at it close. It's filthy from rain. This thing right here has got chrome in places that you don't even need chrome. <laughs> but I'm talking about a beautiful motorcycle. This is Gene's fat boy. Gene, this is a 2005. And uh, I mean chrome everywhere. Chrome, chrome, chrome. Handcuffs. Gene's a little bit kinky. We'll give him that. He got handcuffs down there on his shifter link. But I'm going to tell you something, guys. I want to show these. You don't mind, and I know he don't. Check out these handlebars. I love these handlebars. I would love to have a set of these handlebars on the blue moon, guys. And I'm hoping if I keep saying that enough, one of these days, Gene will decide he wants another set of handlebars, and he'll call me and he'll say, hey, come and pick these bars up. So I'm waiting. But Gene, thank you for being a longtime supporter of my page, brother, and following my videos. All right, guys, so we've come to about the end of this episode. Uh, I want you guys to uh, come and give them, a, uh, give them a call, give them a check out, swing by and see them. They're here Monday through Friday, uh, 9 to 8 a.m. to, to about 5.30, 6 a.m. to about 5.30 or 6 in the evening on Saturdays. They try to close up. They are at ha half a day on Saturday. They try to get out of here by noon. They're at 894 Gumlog Road. So just put that in your... Uh, GPS and hope for the best. It'll bring you right here. Yep. And it'll bring, yeah, it'll bring you right here. But before we go, Sportster pulled up. Dustin riding. Dustin, tell me a little bit about your Sportster here. Uh, it's an 86. It was an 883 built for a 1200. That's about it, really. Just... Well, we definitely support Sportsters on our channel here. I like them. Sportsters are rattling bikes, guys. You can pass this down to your kids and they can still have fun with it. Good looking set of ape hangers. I was telling the guys here, I'm looking for this type of sissy bar to go on my diner. So I've got their eyes open for me. They're going to keep an eye out and see. But guys, I'll tell you what, that's brought pretty well much brought us to the end of today's episode. I just wanted to come up and give these guys a shout out. You guys come and check them out, see Catfish and Teapot and Rooster. These guys will fix you up and take straight you out. All right, guys, welcome to this PS edition of Rolling with T-Bone. I just shot an outro while I was there at uh, uh, Patriot Power, Patriot Power Sports Cycle and Power Sports Supply. There, uh, tell you what, guys, I wanted to shoot another outro real quick, uh, just to say thank you to those guys for inviting me into their shop. Uh, of course, they haven't had their grand opening yet, but I wanted to thank those guys for inviting me and you other, uh, all of the Rolling with T-Bone family into their shop. Got to meet some really great guys there. Uh, you know, and, and that's one of the things that we were talking about there after the filming was over with. You know, we're all country folk, and those guys right there rolled out the carpet, made me feel at home, welcomed me in. You know, Rooster and Catfish and... Uh, teapot just i mean great guys my kind of people uh people that i would jump on a bike and ride a couple hundred miles with and hang out with and have a great time doing it uh 
Dustin got to meet him there with his Sportster. And that, to me, you know, Hammer. Uh, Brother Hammer is going to be watching this episode, I'm sure. And I'll tell you something, Hammer. That 2005 lowrider you got, brother, if you get the feeling, the need that you want to put something in your garage that you can have some feet on, call me about Diablo. I'll put that V-Rod on you for that lowrider. Uh, Hammer was telling me, guys, that that uh, lowrider that's in the video here was a barn find. He got it out, cleaned it up, tuned everything up. Beautiful motorcycle. Beautiful bike. Uh, I had an 84 lowrider years ago. Didn't keep it too long, but I did have a lowrider. But I'll tell you what, I, if you get the you get the one to get rid of that lowrider, brother, I'll put you on the knee for speed. The outblow can be sitting in your stable. <laughs> but anyway, guys, you know, like I said, those guys just kind of welcomed me in. Gene there with me. Uh, me and Gene are becoming good friends, close. Me and Gene hit it off right out of the bat, and you know, I. I'm not quick to warm up to people. Uh, I know people don't believe that about me, but I can read somebody pretty quick. And those guys just made me feel right at home and made me feel like I was a part of what they were had going on there. They support the, they support rolling with T-Bone. They watch my episodes, and that humbles me because to be recognized for what I enjoy doing, for what I have passion to do, for uh, a pat, you know, a hobby, uh, pastime, making content. I enjoy doing it, but sometimes I get down on myself a little bit, and I'm like, "Is what I'm doing really matter? Does anybody really care if I quit doing it today? Would anybody really care?" And then you get around people, and they start talking to you about what you've done, and they tell you they enjoy your content and they enjoy what you do. And it it, hurt, it helps the heart. It, it really does. It makes me feel good. It don't make me feel like. I'm wasting my time or your time. But guys, I'll tell you what, y'all go check them out at uh, Patriot Power Sports and Supplies. If you're in Blairsville, if nothing else, if you want to just swing by and see them and shake their hand, check their shop out, meet the guys there, and they'll stop and talk to you, I'm sure. Uh, just great, great guys, good country folk. Felt like I've known them all my life. And that's rare this day and time as big as our world has gotten as you know we live in a tourist area so now we don't know a lot of people but to meet people and to talk to them and you relate to them and you feel like you've known them all their life that right there is special guys and if you get a chance to find that hang on to it but uh definitely watch for other uh, future episodes from patreon supply i'm sure they get bikes in I'll go in, take, ride them, feature them on the channel. Got no problem doing that. Nobody's got to pay me anything. I just love riding motorcycles. So, but I'll tell you what, guys. That is going to bring this episode to an end. Thank you for watching. Support your local business. Love where we are in the world. Geographic, you guys. Of course, I'm in the truck. I'm not on the motorcycle today because we were talking about that up there at the shop i don't like to purposely leave in the rain but i don't mind getting caught in the rain getting caught in it and leaving in it is two different things uh but i'm in the truck today and i just wanted to go up and show those guys some support and a little love for their business and I, you know i wish them luck but i tell you what he rooster said they've had new customer every day that's awesome they've met some, a new customer every day he said we haven't even had our grand open and he said as soon as the roll-up door went up, people pulled in and he was in business. So that's awesome. That is awesome. Because we need those types of guys who will run those shops where they're not going to snub their nose at you because you don't pull up on the latest or greatest motorcycle. You know, not everybody's going to go buy a brand new motorcycle. Not everybody wants a brand new motorcycle. I don't. I don't want a 2020 motorcycle or 2021, 2022. Would it, would it be nice to have the money to blow to buy one? Yeah, but I'd rather have something old that I can have fun with and that's something I can work on if I have to. But i tell you what, guys. That is going to bring this episode to an end. Uh, I keep saying that, but let me say this. Uh, some of y'all out there in the family know what's going on with R1, uh, with Regina. I'm not going to go into it here, but her and I is going to be doing a video. And the things that has been going on with her 
is going to seriously swing the channel here. It's going to make an impact on rolling my T-bone. I'm going to start throwing my support behind stuff. Uh, but we'll talk about that in a video where I have R1 with me. But you guys send good thoughts and prayers to her and me and to my family. If you run out of people to pray for, pray for us, guys. But I'll tell you what, you guys have been a blessing to me, and I just wanted to take a second to say that. Now, I'm really going in this video right here. So, guys, until the next time, y'all take care of yourselves and each other. This has been Rolling with T-Bone.